Hi, I'm Don Bodan from SampleLibraryReview.com. Today we're going to take a look at Granulate, a granular synthesis instrument for contact created by Will Bedford. Before I jump into telling you about Granulate, I just want to do a quick announcement here. Sample Library Review now has a Patreon page. If you've saved a little money through a sale that you've heard about through the website, or if you've found a instrument through my reviews that you love, I would absolutely be thrilled if you could support and help us make more videos, more reviews. You also have the option to become a voting patron and help steer the ship here at Sample Library Review as to what libraries I should review next, what direction we should take the site and the videos in the future. The Granulate is a granular synthesis engine which allows you to create lush pads, rich textures, punchy rhythmic synths, The library comes with 50 presets, but the thing I'm the most excited about with Granulate is you can import your own audio files, and manipulate them, create entirely new sounds. Granulate requires the full version of Contact 5.1 or higher. The version we're looking at is version 1.0 and it's available for 25 pounds. Now first I'm going to jump in and show you the feature I was the most excited about and that is importing my own samples and manipulating those and then we're going to go ahead and play through the presets which you don't want to miss. I was pretty blown away. There, I didn't want to skip hearing one of the presets because I thought there was going to be something awesome that I didn't want to miss. Now first off I'm going to show you importing some samples into uh, Granulate here. I had some recordings from my H6 Zoom which you might have seen the review for. If not, uh, be sure to check that one out. Uh, recorded some beating on my microwave as well as frying of bacon just when I was testing it out. So let's go ahead and pull some of those in, play with them and see what we can get. So the first thing I did is go into the back of contact instrument um, using the gear right at the top left corner, granulate, and drag in my sample, uh, my sample of a beating on the microwave. You can hear just the sample here. Start to see what we could do to manipulate it using granulate's different parameters. This is really cool stuff here. All of a sudden I'm making custom sound effects. Really cool. It's amazing that I'm getting this out of my uh, microwave. This is really, this is so much fun because I, this is literally the first recording I did with my field recorder. Manipulating it like this uh, so quickly and easily, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> really cool. See what we get when we uh, use the tempo sync function here. So let's go ahead and check out some of the presets now. Like I said, there's 50 presets that are included.
some pretty cool 8-bit stuff there. That's fun. how you can uh, manipulate you know and get such unique sounds um, just with some of these simple controls that he's built in <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty cool there. I really like that, that sound. Yeah, I'm really loving these tempo seat sounds. Like I said, you know, so many times I want something tempo just to kind of cut up some time, uh, and I don't want to use just percussion. This is a really cool way to get a completely unique sound. You can even be sampling stuff that's going on in your in your picture if you're doing a score.
there's some really cool stuff in these presets. I thought that uh, I thought that the uh, imported samples that I was working on were kind of cool, but uh, I'm really digging these. This is awesome. I'm really digging how, you know, if you listen to a preset and you're like, yeah, that doesn't excite me, uh, you just do a little bit of manipulation and all of a sudden you get a whole new sound that uh, is pretty cool stuff. All of a sudden, I'm instantly doing uh, sound effects for Transformers. to fire up the uh, the sci-fi engine for something there's your sound effect right there
Thanks for checking out the video and supporting Sample Library Review. Head over to our Patreon page and show your support. Become a voting patron and make your voice heard to help us decide which libraries and gear to review next and the future of Sample Library Review.